Hi guys, as many of you may know, my name is Marisol. I've been wanting to do this video for a while just because I get asked on the daily, how did you do it to lose 120 pounds? What did you do? What did you eat? What did you work out on? What did you do? So here I am. But before I begin, first of all, keep in mind, I am not a medical professional. I am not a doctor. I am just here telling my journey, what I did in order to lose 120 pounds and something that worked for me. Um, yeah, to begin, first of all, I was weighing in at about 250, maybe a little bit more. I don't remember exact number just because I hated weighing myself at that time in my life. Um, I did wear like 3XX shirts and jeans. I was probably like a 18 around there. Like I said, I don't remember. But I've been on this journey for a total of about seven to eight years. So I've been on it on a while, on a while. And it's been rocky. It's been hard. It's something that I'm going to be straight up with you guys. It's hard. And if you don't have the right mindset and if you don't have the dedication and the de willpower, it's not going to work. Like you have to get, tell yourself, I'm going to be able to do it and I'm going to do it. That's the number one rule, believing in yourself and you wanting to change. Because if you don't want to change, you won't accomplish it. And, you know, and I'm only saying this because I was there. When I was 250 pounds, I obviously I wanted to lose weight. I wanted to feel good. I wanted to look good. But I didn't have that dedication. I didn't I didn't really want it, you can say, because I never actually accomplished it. I would do like two or three days. And then I would give up. But then also keep in mind you are human. And that's one thing that I feel like social media forgets to tell you. And sometimes they are hard. And they say, oh my god, you can't fuck up. Because if you mess up, you get off the train. Then you won't get on track. And in a way, it is true. But if, you, if you're on this journey and you mess up. And you know what? You had a bad day or a bad week. Just get back on it. And I think that's where a lot of people lose track. You know one bad day one bad meal and they just get off the wagon and that just shows you don't want it because when you want it you will work your ass off for it like i said i have been on this journey for quite some years now um it all started in high school when to be honest it's just one day i just woke up and i was like i can't be like this anymore i didn't feel good i didn't look good i wasn't happy with myself so i was like enough is enough enough is enough the first thing i did was i signed up to the gym obviously being this 250 pound girl i didn't know what to do i didn't have any guidance i didn't have anybody to talk to about being overweight in a sense um gym i signed up to the gym i started at fitness 19 in fremont actually and i would go every day monday through sunday every day for two hours and i started by just doing cardio because I didn't even want to touch the weight, just be, weights, just because I didn't want to look dumb. I didn't know what I was doing, but I just worked out. I didn't. It, I would went to school at the time and I worked, but I just I would make myself go to the gym every day. But you know what? It's not even I didn't make myself. I wanted it. Like I would just wake up and be like, I'll go to the gym. We used to live close to there, so I would walk to the gym. And then work out and then walk home and then get my day started um when from i didn't really start meal prepping at this time just because i didn't like i said i didn't know what to do but i did cut out a lot of stuff i stopped drinking drinking soda that was the main thing I, no soda also carbs you know as a mexican girl tortillas for breakfast tortillas for lunch tortillas for dinner fun everything but i cut all that up i i didn't eat any of it and when i say i didn't mean any of it ate any of it i didn't like i cut it all off and i was just eating smaller portions and i stopped eating red meat as well but i i don't know if i recommend this like i said i'm i'm not sure but this is what i did i didn't eat red meat i didn't eat soda and i didn't eat carbs so i would just pretty much eat chicken eggs um salad i ate a lot of salad and then one of the things i did i had been doing this whole time is drinking a lot of water i drink about a gallon a day um, so if you're new to this 
journey and or you want to start losing weight water will be your best friend don't drink juice don't drink soda nothing just stick to water and so as time went by i was getting myself more educated i was googling youtubing trainers uh, meal plans and that's when i started getting i got educated on meal prepping and weighing what you eat and i pretty much i started like okay if i weigh this much i'm supposed to eat this i'm supposed to eat two to three hours so i started meal prepping but this came a little bit later just because i didn't know where to begin this is you know nowadays so social media is so big there's so many fitness people that you literally can google what you what you're supposed to eat according to your body mass and your body weight and everything so I started, that's when I start. I want to say about six months into my journey is when I started to meal prep. And then a year later, I had I was able to lose 80 pounds and I, I got down to 170. And this is where it kind of, I got, my body started to like, started plateauing. And I felt like I just couldn't lose weight. But then again, I felt like at that time I got too comfortable with, with myself, you know? Um, I was eating out a lot more. I was drinking. I was partying. Um, just, you know, I was enjoying myself because something inside of me still wasn't happy. I wanted to go more. When I had first started my journey, I told myself my goal weight is 150. And I was at 170. I was like, I'm so close. But I was, I was just getting comfortable and I felt like I wasn't losing weight. One thing is that during my whole journey, I did keep working out. So that's one thing i stick to the gym not and i don't go to the gym just because i need to but because i love the feeling i love the feeling after a great workout you know if i'm stressed i go to the gym i'm mad i go to the gym i'm bored i go to the gym it just makes me feel really good and i think that's something that you should get yourself in your mind it's like not that you need to go it's i i want to go i want to feel that way i want to feel good and you know at that time in my life a lot of changes were going on this is when i moved in with my boyfriend at the time you know and we had just gotten our own place um i did gain 10 pounds and that's when i was just like okay this can like no all my hard work to just lose it right now like let it go and me gain weight like i was not gonna let that happen because i knew how hard i had worked i just couldn't and so i started going back to the gym i was meal prepping again but for some reason i just felt like i wasn't losing weight i know why because i was i wasn't doing it correctly even though i knew what i had to do it was so easy for some reason for me to cheat on my meals or like oh today i don't feel like eating chicken i'm gonna just have a cheeseburger with my boyfriend you know and um one day i was just on instagram and i saw one of my friends posted like a video about about her losing about her about a program it was, um you lose a certain amount of pounds in a certain amount of weeks and i was like hey maybe this is what i need like i want to try it out see what it's all about she gave me the information I went in and pretty much they already did everything I I was doing. I, you, They tell you what to eat, meal prep, which was similar to what I was doing, just a little bit different. And the, the workouts were nothing too crazy. You know what? Maybe that's what I needed, the discipline, because you would weigh in every Monday and you would be like, OK, I don't want to gain weight. Like, I want to I want to lose this weight. So I told myself before I. I went into this program, I was like, I'm going to do it and I'm going to do whatever it takes. Like, I'm going to lose this weight. I was at 170. Um, I followed the meal plan. I did the workout. I st and the crazy part about it is that I would go work out at four in the morning and I would go work out again at night. That's how bad I wanted it. Um, when I This was two years ago. Proved myself that I wanted to do this. And I was doing it the correct way. I was eating my meals. So in, in order to lose weight, as well you need to eat clean i will always tell you that and you can't eat junk food or eat bad and expect to lose weight no matter how hard you're at, no matter how hard you work out at the gym or if you're there for four or five hours if your diet is not clean you will not receive results and maybe some of you are going to the gym but you don't see results it's your diet it's always your diet because i was that person i was working out but i still wasn't losing the weight so that 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 was proof to me that it was my diet because once i changed up my diet like that i was i was going to family parties i was doing my regular stuff 
But when I would show up to family parties, you know, they would have tacos, tamales, everything. Guess what? I showed up with my meals, with my chicken, my vegetables, and my rice. Why? Because I wanted it. And I had to do it, and I was going to do it. My family would be like, oh, you're crazy. Just eat. Or like they'll be like, oh, just eat. One, one taco is not going to hurt you. It will. And I wanted it, and I was not going to get off track for a taco or for a burrito or whatever and that's something that you need to you guys need to get in your mind like you cannot you have to stick to it it will all pay off it will trust me and so i did this plan and i was at 130 135 140 when i stopped going with them around that so i lost about yeah like 20 pounds with them 25 around there and I left, you know, and I, I was happy I looked good because I had proven to myself that I was capable of doing it. And, you know, like all the times that I wasn't eating out with my friends or I couldn't eat at the family parties were paying off because I wanted it. And once I stopped doing the challenge with them, I was able to lose another 10 pounds with myself by myself. So now I'm at 120, you know, and I'm at a point where I'm... I'm okay with myself. Like, I am fine. I don't want to lose any more weight. I, I, I do want to tone up. But even though I'm at my comfortable weight, it doesn't end for me there. You know, it, this is a lifestyle. This is something you guys need to keep tell yourself as well. Like, this is not a, a diet. It's something you just do for a while. A lifestyle is something you're going to change. You know, you're going to change your whole time. So, I, I still meal prep. I am on point on point with my diet from monday through friday i, I know eat every three hours i'm always eating you have to keep that's the thing about that you have to keep your metabolism going but smaller portions i don't have those big old portions i weigh my food i eat four to five ounces of chicken um i i eat unlimited veggies obviously um i i love like broccoli um, the basics like my food is really bland and if you know me you know my foods are bland but you know everybody's like you don't get bored of it and I'm like no like I, this is my lifestyle and I know that this is how I'm probably gonna be eating for the rest of my life oh, which nice. is everybody gets to be skinny and eat whatever they want so you know this is this you know, is I go to school I work I full-time both and I still make time for the gym. So when somebody tells me, oh, I just don't have time to work out, then you don't want it. You don't want it. Because you there's always time. Wake up at four in the morning if you have to go at night. If you have time to sit on social media and be there scrolling for an hour or two, you have time to go to the gym. Make it a priority. And this is why I tell you guys, like, this is my lifestyle. Um, when it comes to carbs, I... I carb cycles, which pretty much is I'll have carbs. Like some days I'll have no carbs. Some days I have higher carb amount of carbs and then add it. I keep adding it and then no carbs. Um, but you know what? I am not a big fan of carbs, as crazy as that sounds. Like I don't crave them. So there's days where I'll go like three days with no carbs. And maybe that's that's like I'm saying, like it, it's maybe not the correct way, but it works for me. And I'm not hungry. I'm not starving myself. So, and like I said, every three hours, keep the metabolism going. I drink lots of water. I'm just, this is what I tell you guys. Like, there's a way. And if I was able to do it, anybody can do it. Because we're all human. And nothing's and nothing can be impossible for us. You just have to tell do yourself. It. Because your mind will play games with you. It would be like, no, you can't do it. But you know what? You have to prove to yourself. And don't do it for nobody else but for yourself. You know, there's a lot of diets going on right now. And to be honest, I haven't tried a lot of them. The only one I've tried is carb cycle. That's what I'm doing now. Um, I've And then when I was at 250, I tried everything. And honestly, guys, losing weight is so simple. As, like, at least to me. It, it, it's hard it's the, honestly the hardest decision because i love food i i love you know in our mexican culture tacos tamales i love all that i love guzguear i love eating chips i i love it and it's hard it's it's a lifestyle and it's something that i want and i like i mentioned i'm not gonna 
let myself go again like i've been there and the way i feel now it's 10 times better than i'm not saying you know if you're a big person and you're happy then that's all that matters but me personally i was not happy but i was saying it's simple because you just eat right and it's crazy because people know what to eat and people know what they're not supposed to eat but they choose to eat what they're not supposed to eat because it tastes good because it makes them feel good at the moment like oh i'm eating something so good because you, you, that's what you want but you choose it because losing weight is not a priority for you like it all comes down to your diet and it like i said that's what worked for me make sure you're eating every two to three hours chicken vegetables will be your best friends if you're hungry eat more vegetables they will fill you up trust me um carbs you don't want to not eat them because i know carbs are a source of energy but just count them and eat healthy carbs like rice white rice yes white rice brown rice quinoa sweet potato all your healthy carbs um protein try to stick to like chicken ground turkey fishes um if you do like red meat eat it i personally am not a big fan of red meat so i always stick to my chicken my ground turkey fish and you know egg whites just stuff like that water most importantly drink tons of water um stop eating candies chips tortillas sodas fast food i remember when i was on my journey i didn't have fast food for god knows how many years um and also another thing that i know that people are saying have said is oh i don't eat after six o'clock who said you can't eat after six o'clock like what's so wrong with eating at night if your body's hungry and it and it's been your three hours and you need to eat eat i don't care if it's nine o'clock if you're awake and you're at, and you're doing stuff and you're hungry eat but like i said you have to eat your healthy stuff so yeah <clears throat> remember dedication keep yourself motivated change your mindset and have tons of willpower you know what to eat you you know what you're supposed to be doing go to the gym work out but eat healthy do all this stuff and i guarantee you you will lose the pounds and yeah guys that's how that's pretty much my journey i didn't do anything crazy like i didn't starve myself i didn't do surgery i didn't drink no magic pill i literally just worked my ass off i stick to it with tons of dedication tons of willpower positive mindset you can accomplish it you only you can do it and only you can tell yourself you when that you can do it so that's pretty much it um let me know if you guys want me to do like another video maybe actually showing what i eat um what i do at the gym and all that stuff this video was pretty much just explaining my journey uh, i'm also human i also made mistakes i i've messed up i went back on track but now i'm constantly on it this is my lifestyle and i don't it's not gonna change um i do have different goals now which include you know toning up changing my workouts but you know i was able to do it and like i said it's no magic it's there's no tricks there's no ifs the buts or whatever so let me know if you guys want me to do another video like i said um i'm not a professional youtuber so this is my first video so sorry like i noticed i was like moving my hand i was trying to be as like natural as i could but you know it's a little weird talking to the camera but yeah um comment below if you want me to do another video or what you think of it okay thank you